Pirate radio stations are creating increasing problems for aeroplanes flying over the capital. Air traffic controllers say the illegal broadcasts often block out vital communications with pilots. Kurt Barling has more. Pirate radio has long been seen as a social nuisance by the authorities. Now the fear is that a crowded radio spectrum means a greater potential danger to aviation over the capital. It's well known that the most difficult phase for any air journey is landing and takeoff. We're well used to the noise nuisance from above, but now we're talking about nuisance from below. One former pilot is convinced the hazards are being underestimated by pirate DJs. On a normal winter's day, a claggy day, when the cloud, as I say, goes from about 2,000 feet upwards and you're in cloud for the majority of approach and you don't see an aeroplane uh, and that you're at uh, minute intervals coming into Heathrow, then you can see potentially if you, if you miss an instruction and you go flying off on a track you shouldn't be on, uh, it's, uh, oh, it's very, very dangerous. Ofcom, the regulator of the airwaves, say listeners to pirate stations need to appreciate the risks these stations are taking. In 2006 we received 70 cases of interference from illegal broadcast stations to safety of life services and predominantly the complaints of interference were received from the fire brigade in London and of course the air traffic control service as well. So this is not a victimless crime. The pirates want to see the evidence and remain convinced that it's just another excuse to get them off air. As far as I know, the emergency service is all digital. So if it is as bad as they say it is, I mean, they will really be getting in contact with the pirate stations to say, X, Y, Z, can you please do X, Y, Z because you are interfering with air traffic and emergency service. God forbid ev anything ever happens, you know, and I just don't know how they could say this without proving it. For the moment the emergency services do not broadcast on digital frequencies and whilst a long-term solution to the interference problem may be opening up the digital spectrum, in the meantime the hazards will remain. Kurt Barling, BBC London News.